When you think about all the pitchers that you've worked with, um, is there one common thread between all of them in terms of uh, like their characteristics or approach or mentality? Um, I'd have to say their work ethic, right? I think I knew right away how much I would have to help in a bullpen depending on how much um, of a routine they had. I guess that's the only thing I could say about that. I think you understand a pitcher once you start to understand their routine and you only learn that when you get into their bullpen. So Kat had a very strategic um, way of warning, warming up or superstitious. I don't think they'll say superstitious. They'll say it's a routine, right? What pitch they start with and why. Um, Danielle, she always did the exact same series. It was the first time I've ever had anyone do that instead of warming up one pitch and then, you know, kind of working into that one pitch and then transitioning to the next. She always mixed all of her pitches and I'm probably going to mess this up, but I feel like she'd throw a rise then she'd go change and or curve and then she'd throw her change and then her back door and then, um, a screw. So she would always move that and then she, we'd start close just like wrist snaps and then take a step back and then she starts working into her full arm circle and then she'll go and take that. She'll do one round through every one of them, back up, one round through every one of them, back up, one round through every one of them, back up until it turned into a long toss. And then she would do her grips and her spins even with a long toss. So I found that was something that I enjoyed the most um, out of getting to catch the greatest pitchers um, of our time every year is they all had their own. Jordan Taylor, she had turned into a closer for our team. And so to watch the way that she was able to prepare herself and get ready just like that, she understand, understood her body. She understood how she needed to warm up and what she needed to throw. And she understood that kind of like a Mariano Rivera, right? If you have just one pitch and you utilize that one and you can, you know, make it dance the way she does, um, then she relies on that. And she has more than one pitch, but it's that mm -hmm. change up that you just can't sit on because it's so, it's just nasty. It's so yeah. nasty. Stops midair and then just drops. It's, it's crazy. So I think that's what I liked is I, and I guess I'm fortunate, right? I didn't, after a certain time point in my life, I guess after you're 18, I never caught a mediocre pitcher. Yeah. <laughs> like, about it, right? So like, yeah. I only know, like, okay, this is what the greats are going to do. And you just, I kept moving forward. I was like, oh yeah, this is what they all have in common, right? They all have in common the work ethic. They all know how they want their bullpens to look. And when they, and the bigger thing you realize that is in the pro league, because you don't always have a pitching coach there to say, Chelsea, go get your snaps in or, you know, have this whole layout. And I loved getting to catch all of them because they all came from different programs. Um, and so to learn just a little bit more about what it is that they were doing or how they learned, it was great to listen to them talk to one another. But like forever, you know, a strong foursome that were in the bullpen for us for a long time was uh, Kat, Danielle, Chelsea, Jordan, and all four of them worked really well. And then we'd have pitchers come in and out from there um, but those are really strong programs when you go back and look where they came from and uh, how they helped each other out.